Hey guys, Adam Benson here with another tips and tricks video helping you be more productive in your sheet metal designs. In this example, I have a pulley guard that needs some updating. Oftentimes we find ourselves creating flanges and other sheet metal specific features, then going back and hacking away at them to get the exact shape we need. Making changes down the road can get messy, especially if we've added relationships to these features. Now this could easily be the case for this pulley guard. Here I have an edge flange on a non-linear edge with slots positioned relative to the edge. I need to cut back the length of this edge flange to make room for another component in the assembly. If I were to do this with another cut extrude, I'd have to edit the slot sketch and redefine the reference edge to make sure I maintain the relative position. Being that this is an edge flange on a non-linear edge, I can instead edit the edge flange and modify the start or end positions by dragging and dropping or even adding dimensions. Once this is complete, simply click finish and the position of my slots update as expected. No redefining is needed. I also need to add our logo so it can be laser etched from the flat pattern export. This can be difficult in situations where our etching might cross over a bend region or where placement in the folded state is important. When scribing these parts in these situations, the split line and wrap commands can be very helpful. In this case, adding the logo using the split line feature is not going to produce the desired result as it is simply a projection onto the bend. I'll go with the wrap command to apply this etching more like I would a sticker. I need to start by selecting my logo sketch. I'm choosing scribe for my wrap type and analytic for my wrap method since this is a cylindrical face resulting from the bend on my sheet metal part. From here, I can choose the face I am scribing on. This provides me with a good visual for positioning of the logo and I can always go back to the sketch and adjust as needed. But what happens when we need to send this out to get etched? If I flatten this, I can clearly see the logo is removed from the flat pattern. Don't forget, you can edit the flat pattern feature and modify its parameters. Doing so, I have the option to retain my scribed face even when the faces are merged together in the flat pattern. Finally, when it comes to producing a drawing with the necessary information for manufacturing, visible sketches from the part can be distracting and unwanted. The Hide Show Items shortcut on the Heads Up Display toolbar is a great way to hide these with a couple of clicks, avoiding the dreaded task of hiding each sketch individually in the design tree. Of course, these sketches are separate from the bend lines, so the necessary information for manufacturing is kept. Be sure to like and subscribe for more tips to keep you productive. Thanks for watching.